Now that we've made it to route number four, we're actually able to continue on to Cerulean City. Now there's a couple of things that we can do here. Um, if we jumped over this ledge previously, we weren't actually able to get back up there. So I was a little bit concerned about that. So uh, we're gonna get this item here and uh, a Paralyze Heal. Uh, that would have come in so handy when we were up against that Grimer. Um, okay, let's take a look here. Get a couple of items as we go. There should be a couple of trainers. And then there should also be some Pokemon here to battle. Uh, not battle, sorry, catch. Whoop. There are some static events that happen here, such as like this. Muford found something in the plants. It was a Nanab berry. Okay. So let's keep going here. We want to try to capture some new Pokemon. We got a repel. That might actually come in handy here at some point. Now, I don't think we can get that item. I could be wrong. But let's see if we can go get it. Ooh, Spiro. No, we can't get that item yet. Okay. <clears throat> now, I don't know if there's any new Pokemon in this area here, but I think it's just a continuation of the Pokemon that we've seen prior to Mount Moon. Yeah, looks that way. Okay, let's keep going. And here we are, guys. We have made it to Cerulean City. Cerulean City. A mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Okay, let's go up to the Pokemon Center. Ooh, Pikachu. Pika Pika! seems pleased looking at the fountain. Uh, let's throw 50. Pika, pika. <laughs> I choose you looks happy. What happens if I put $500 in there? Oh, I can't do that now. Aww. That was a one-time thing. I wonder what happens if you put 500 in there. Does anybody know the answer to that? A curiosity. Your Pikachu looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that Pikachu can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? What do you say? Zippy Zap. Should I... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's Zippy Zap. It is a physical move, but our attack stats lowered. So I don't know if I want Zippy Zap. What is the base power? 50? 100. No, we're not going to teach Zippy Zap. There are two types of attacking moves, <clears throat> physical moves and special moves. If your Pokemon's attack stat is high, Teach it physical. Why don't you trade Pokemon with your friends? You could get a lot of variety by trading. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly too. Oh, that Bill. I heard that he'll do anything to get his hands on a rare Pokemon. Anything at all. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic. But with a collection like his, who wouldn't want to brag a little bit? I think people are just jealous. Hi, do you want to trade your Rattata for my Rattata? I only have one right now. Let's go capture another one. <clears throat> 
because I don't really want to get rid of Chomps. I would like to keep Chomps. Such a cool little Rattata. Okay, let's keep going here. See if we can find another Rattata. Let's go back to route number four. I'm sure we should be able to find something there. Let's find a Rattata to trade. I'm pretty sure we, oh, there's an item. Three great balls, thank you. Is there a Rattata here? Sancho, Spiro, Mankey. Let me guess, this is going to be like the one time where we don't have any Rattata's period. Let's see if we can find Rattata. Oh, Sancho. Oh, there's a Rattata. Get back here, little fella. Feisty. gonna go trade that lady for a Rattata. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the Alolan variant. If you guys don't know what Alola is, Alola is another Pokemon region where Rattata has a different form variant, so it'll actually look different. Okay, let's swap this Chomps with this Rattata at the party. Okay, here we go. Hi, do you want to trade your Rattata for my Rattata? Sure. Ugh. What? Okay, there we go. Ah, I'm so happy. Let's get started. Tatiana. Thank you very much for the trade. And as you guys can see, this is a different form variant of Rattata. It's a male. Were you surprised? My Rattata is from the Alola region. Some Pokemon have different appearances and even types depending on where they were born, even if they are the same species. All right, so we got a Rattata here. Let's see here. Can I actually nickname him? Hmm? Can I nickname it? No, I can't. Okay, so I cannot nickname that Rattata. At party. We're gonna get Chomps back. Now, that Rattata. If you guys aren't aware, Rattata from Alola whoop, are of the dark typing, I believe. Tatiana, yep, dark and normal type. Let's get out of here. Now, we're going to do a little bit of researching. We're going to go see if we can track down Bill. However, we want to get to the Pokemon Mart first. You're a trainer, too. Collecting Pokemon, battling with Pokemon, it's a tough life, isn't it? Not really. It's actually quite enjoyable. I've been playing Pokemon since I was like 11, 10 or 11. 
I am now 36. Probably the oldest person that plays. My dearest Clefairy's head. I was messing with its fur and it got really fluffy and cool. But it got back to normal when I kept messing with it. <laughs> There's a Clefairy, okay. I'm officially the old guy of Pokemon. Okay, Electrode, you Sonic Boom. Aw, come on, Elect. I wish you'd listen to my orders. So it sounds to me like she doesn't have enough badges. Have you ever seen a rare candy? I've never found one at a shop. I heard that it makes a Pokemon level up instantly. All right, let's buy some Pokeballs. Yeah, let's go for 12. We've got enough Pokeballs per se. Let's get some antidotes here because we ran into some problems with antidotes last time. Okay, let's back out. What's this guy say? Once you defeat a Pokemon gym and get a new badge, you should visit the local shop. It should have new items you can buy. It's a sign that you've become a stronger trainer. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look. I like riding on Pokemon, sure, but riding on a bike is pretty cool, too. It was cool getting to see all his rare bikes, but boy, that bike mechanic goes on and on. It's a shiny bike. It looks expensive. Are you curious about that bike? I like simple bikes, too. It was a limited edition and popular a while ago. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of money. Oh, he talked really, really fast. I'm pretty sure it was one million Poké Dollars. I think I'll ride around on Pokémon things. You know the guy who lives in that house there? He collects bikes from all over the world. You're making some sort of encyclopedia of Pokémon? That sounds like a fun time. There's a tree growing in front of the Pokemon. It's blocking the way to the route to the south. I think there's a long way around, though. Okay, let's go in here. I'm taking care of injured Pokemon here. Bulbasaur is fully recovered, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon and I can trust. The number of Pokemon you've caught so far is 41. Wow! Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Okay, so we now have a Bulbasaur. Okay, so Bulbasaur, when you obtain it here, actually has better stats than the previous Bulbasaur that we've already caught. So, I'm going to change the name for this Bulbasaur to Ethan. The reason being is, is I want to continue on with Ethan on the team. And I would like to have a stronger stat Pokemon to be able to use for him. So, Ethan. Now, let's see here. Check the summary. Docile. It's neutral natured. Let's see. Check summary. Lonely. This is a physical attacker. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to... 
change the markings. I'm going to set that one as a favorite. This one here. I'm going to s oh. Okay, I'm going to set him to a favorite as well. And then we're going to do the same thing for Everett. We're going to set his Charmander as a favorite. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, we've already spoken to him. Okay. Let's go up into the house here. I didn't even knock on the door. Only skilled trainers can collect gym badges. I see you have at least one. I tell you something interesting little bits of trivia about those badges. Now then, which one of the eight badges should I describe? It proves a person defeated the Pewter City Gym Leader. The creator of the badge clearly put some effort into it. It's rough and hard, just like Rock-type Pokemon. Okay. Ooh, there's a garbage can. Nothing in the garbage can. Right. That's okay. And we got ourselves another rare candy. Perfect. Two. Ooh, how did you get Onyx in there? I was stopped when I tried to enter the Pokemart with my dear Onyxy. That was utterly unnecessary. My Onyxy is such a good boy that it goes into its Pokeball. It's a tight space, even <laughs> in a tight space without even being asked. Wow. How did you get it in the house? Jam Jam? Onyxy goes Jam Jam. Okay, it's confirmed. Jam Jam is officially what Onyx says. Maybe it's not actually Onyx and it's called Jam Jam. Mewford found something that was dropped in the flower bed. Ooh, a pretty wing. Okay, let's check our bag here. What do we got for items? Let's go to the candy jar. And we've got two rare candies. Yes, Ember. Thank you. Gonna believe this? A p p p p Pokemon? It it yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Retro? What are you trying to tell me here, buddy? Okay, Retro has sent out Pidgey. Okay, Chops, let's do it, buddy. Level twelve. Okay, let's go for that bite attack here. Give the gust. Not gonna get me this time. There we go. Pidgey is down. Oh, 
19. I think we need to get to level 22. 20 or 22, I can't remember. Okay, Ethan, level 15. Let's swap you out here. Let's go into Ethan. You can take on the Eevee there, buddy. I believe in you. Okay, there's the Eevee. Let's go for that sleep powder. Let's get that Eevee to sleep. Ooh, Tail Whip! Dropping our defense. Hey, there we go. We got Eevee to go to sleep. Retro, you ain't got nothing on us. Let's go for that Vine Whip. should do it. Ooh, a potion. Come on. What? You bugger. Let's go for that vine whip. Vine whip that Eevee. There we go. Two down. One more to go. Oddish. Yep. We are going to swap out to Everett. Now that he's finally learned his Ember attack. I believe you can do this, man. You just got to go for that Ember. Here we go. That actually did a good chunk. What is it with Everett getting poisoned? I don't get it. What? Let's go for the Ember. One more will do it. Finish that Oddish off. Sweet. All right. Oddish is down and out. And we just defeated Retro. Phew. Okay. I feel a bit calmer now. Retro? Calm? What? Please don't hate me. <laughs> ha! Deep breaths. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, that is such a retro thing to say. Oh my god, that's funny. That Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Eh, just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Cory. Well, first off, I'm going to heal up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go check that out right now. There's a talking Pokemon. I would like to know about it. I love that music. So good. like this one too. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yeah, buddy. Do we ever. You've got Mew. What do you got? A Venona. Go Chomps. Okay, now. Venonat is a bug poison type. So let's go in for the headbutt here. Nice flinch. Yeah. 
I would very much like to get Ratata to level up. Whoa, good stuff. Thank you. Let's see here. What do we have in our bag? Let's go back to that candy jar for a sec. What is a mighty candy? Increases attack, courage, does special defense, toughest defense, quick candy is speedy, special attack is smart, health candy is that. Okay, let's get two of these mighty candies. Courage candy, special defense. I'm gonna give this one to Ethan. Tough candy. Ethan. Quick candy. To Everett. I wish I could specify how many candies I was using, because I would actually use all of the candies on the one. Okay, we want speed. So the tough candies need to go to Ethan. Smart candy is special attack. That needs to go to Everett. And the health candy, I'm gonna give that one to Mew. I don't want to battle the chomps at the beginning of the party. So let's swap to Ethan. No, let's swap to Everett. I'm second! Now it's serious! We're on battle number two, I think of five. Last Alley. Ooh, Psyduck. That is not a good type matchup here. Ooh, Everett, this is not good, buddy. We gotta get you back into the party here. That is a water type Pokemon. And water type Pokemon are strong against fire types. But Ethan, who is a grass-type Pokemon, will be able to resist any kind of water moves that come our way. Yep, I knew it was going to be a water gun. Alright, fine with that side up. How could I lose? I mean, excuse me, you had a Psyduck. You had one Psyduck. Here's number three. I won't be easy. Youngster Timmy? Let's go, Youngster Timmy. I don't think there's anything Sandshrew can do to Everett right now. So let's go for the Ember here. That is a really good hit. Sand Attack is just going to lower the uh, accuracy of my moves, but that's okay. Let's go for that Ember there once again. again. Charmander is one of my favorite Pokemon. Just because of my starter experience from way back when. But if I were to have to decide between another starter in Kanto, I would have to say that Bulbasaur would be my next one. Uh, Blastoise was always kind of like a last choice for me. But, uh... I mean, it's, just, it's still a really cool Pokemon. I'm sure you guys all love Blastoise. 
Like, don't get me wrong, I love Blastoise too, but uh, Charmander and Bulbasaur are probably the two better ones. I'm number four. Hi, number four. I plan to be number one. Last really. Meowth. All right, Meowth. Let's go for that Ember here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go for that headbutt to finish things off here. Let's get that headbutt. Gotta get that headbutt. Mm, mm, the headbutt. Mm, 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 the headbutt. Yeah, I know you like that song. That's a good song. Getting a little headbutt going on there. I lost two. Did you? It was a pretty cool song. Not gonna lie. Mm, mm, the headbutt. The headbutt. <laughs> All right, next trainer. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Camper Kevin? What do you got, man? What do you got? Ooh, Growlithe. It's a little itty bitty puppy Pokemon. Hi there, puppy Pokemon. Hope you don't scare me away. Okay, let's get that headbutt. Ember is not going to work. It does have the ability Flash Fire. So I don't really want to power up a Growlithe right now. Okay, keep going. And there we go. Growlithe is now down and out. And that is the last trainer on Nugget Bridge. Ooh, Hurricane level 16. Get, <clears throat> getting closer to that Pidgeotto. Whoa, too much? Uh, where's my Nugget? I did my best. I have no regrets. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon. Do we have a potion? I'm pretty sure we still have a potion. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You've just earned a fabulous prize. You got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. You put the nugget in your bag. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right. We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> You're challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Ooh, he's got a Zubat. Reminds me of Zuzu. We gotta get Zuzu out of the box. Okay, level 11 Zubat. Let's go for that Ember attack. Hey, we got the burn. Nice. Okay, there we go. Ooh, critical hit. That's a good ember. Team Rocket is about to send in coughing. Yep, we're gonna swap. We're gonna go to Chomps.
Okay, we're gonna go for the bite. Yeah, that's a good hit. I'm really glad that did not poison us. Okay, let's try a headbutt here. We should be able to get stab damage off onto this because it's the same type. And good thing we did not get poisoned. Okay, go for that quick attack. And coughing is down. Level 15 for Everett. One more level and we get ourselves a Charmeleon. Ah! You are good! With your skills, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. I'm going to. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? If you've caught 50 Pokemon, you... Sorry, I've caught 50 Pokemon. You should catch more than that. So we only had 41 the last time that we looked, but we want to get that Charmander. So, let's capture a couple of Pokemon down here, and let's go back and get that Charmander. Camper Shane. Let's go, buddy. What do you got, a Spearow? Ooh, that's a pretty cool looking Spearow. All right, Everett. We got this, man. Let's get that smoke screen out of there. So let's drop its accuracy. Ooh, the focus energy. Now that's a scary move. It's getting bumped up. That's a really poor imitation. Time to get the pumped up. <laughs> Let's get that Ember going here. Growl, gonna lower attack stat. That's okay, we're gonna stay with our special attacking Ember. Hope that we don't get pecked. Here we go. And that is going to finish off that little Sparrow. All right, Camper Shane. I thought not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my face in some of these things. It's gonna be funny. It's a Venonat! We saw a Venonat back on the Nugget Bridge. Let's get this. Oh, I threw that too far. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet. All right, you caught a Venonat. Now, what's it say for Venonat? Its large eyes act as a radar. In a bright place, you can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. Now, what are we gonna call Venonat? And we're going to change the name. What are we going to call it? Was it male or female? It's female. All right. Hmm. What are we going to call Venonat? Um... There we go. We'll call it Vanessa. How's that? Random V name for a female. Ooh! Yes! First evolution! Let's go! Let's go! Bulbasaur is going to evolve into Ivysaur. That 
There we go! Ethan! You are my first evolution! The butt on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it is ready to bloom. Okay, we are totally going to have to take Ethan out of the Pokeball. Look at that! Ethan is happily following you. Ooh, Psyduck! Nice! Maybe it's my switch. Maybe my switch isn't sitting straight. Yeah, there it is. My switch was sitting sideways. Yes, that was an excellent catch. Let's go. Nice. Hey, you getting that ball. Oh yeah, it was totally the position of the switch. Now, what are we gonna call Psyduck? Hmm. Is this one a male or a female? Male. Always tormented by headaches. It uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do so is not known. I've got the perfect name for this thing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Totally inside story, but it's pretty hilarious. All right, guys, we are getting into our second evolution of this Let's Play. We are evolving Everett the Charmander into Everett the Charmeleon. Let's go! This is awesome! Level 16 is usually when the starter Pokemon evolve. So we've already got ourselves an Ivysaur. We've also got ourselves a Charmeleon. So that is two new Pokemon for our Let's Play. Now what's it say about Charmeleon? Tough fights could excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out bluish white flames. All right, we got ourselves a Charmeleon. So let's get Charmeleon and swap it here with our Ivysaur. Everett is happily following you. Well, thanks, Everett. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. Okay. The number of Pokemon you've caught is 52. Cool. I want you to have this Charmander. Will you take it? Take good care of my Charmander. Okay, so we've now got a Charmander as well. But you know what, guys? That is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, do not make the same mistake I did and look for Abra here. Okay, Abra is not in this location. He is on route number five. Okay, we'll be able to find him there shortly after, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome of what we did here today. We were able to get Ethan and Everett to evolve. So we've got ourselves an Ivysaur and a Charmeleon. So 
Take care, guys. Have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Play episode of Let's Go Pikachu. Peace out.